okay so we did an example we created a class let's quickly look into the class that we created yesterday and uh, we'll create uh, some more examples today so here is the class that i created list of accounts i've written a uh, sql query soql query for retrieving the data and then a get method to return that list of accounts then i go and call it on the visual force page right that's what we have done let's do another example let's create one more class this time i want to filter out my data so I'll just go to apex classes create a new class write it public class c3 and call it uh, list of account mm, energy accounts and this time i'll put a logic here select name type industry i'll put a filter here basically phone tax from account where Select name type industry phone fax account from uh, phone fax from account where uh, industry equals energy. And then define a get method for this public list of account. All right. So that's what I have. Let me save this class. So now if I call this energy accounts on my visual force page, it will show me only the records which have industry equals energy, right? So that's the clause that I've used here. Show me accounts where industry equals energy. All that I have to do is just go here and say apex slash v13 or something. No, 13 is something that we've already done. We'll go into 14, 15. Controller C3 FX page block FX page block table value equals energy accounts variable equals a 
fix column name same way you know the way we create a table of data um, scenario something we're doing here name type um, this tree four facts right that's it so here is my list just shows me a list of all the accounts from energy industry right that's how it works just give me one moment please one moment all right here we are fine so now we understand you know uh, we can actually bring in the data based on uh, whatever criteria or whatever filter we want to put um, while we are using our custom controller so we have a big you know better control on our data because i can write the uh, you know query the way i want right so Let's say I, I want to create one more page here. Uh, let me do one more example. <clears throat> so there also I'll create some filter of data and display them as uh, tabs. Public class C4. And here I create a list of account. Call it direct accounts. And say select name type industry phone facts from account where. Select name type industry phone facts from account where type equals customer direct. I've created two variables here two list of accounts one is direct accounts one is channel accounts okay and i've put two different criteria here direct direct accounts are the ones where type equals to customer direct and channel accounts are the one where type equals to customer channel these are the two variables that i have now for this what i'll have to do is i'll have to create a public list of account get direct accounts this should return the direct accounts and this one should return the channel of the channel accounts to get methods two variables to get methods to return both of them
right something very similar to what we have already done in the previous example just that in this case i am using two different variables and uh, the sql query written for both of them is different you know the, the criteria is different i have two different uh, get methods for it all right now on the visual force page i just want to go ahead and create a page which allows me to display both these lists okay so these are two list of accounts i want these lists to be displayed under tabs all right first of all let's just uh, you know try and put it uh, inside a page block so controller will be this fix page block and then you put in fix page block section column equals 1 title can be direct accounts inside that i'll put the page box page block table value so for direct accounts the value will be direct accounts variable can be e fix column same thing you know whatever we have done in the previous example just that here i'll create two tables i in industry form facts fine so one section created for direct accounts these are all customer direct accounts right uh, it's under the page block section i will create another section for channel accounts fx page block section columns can be one and the title in this case will be channel accounts page block table in this case value will be channel accounts the other method the one that returns the channel values variable can be same you can use the same variable name a in both the cases if you are using the same variable name you are able to copy paste this entire thing that's it Okay, just a repeat of that with a different method from this calling a different method from the class that's it so this table is only going to show me the records where uh, the type is customer channel see direct accounts channel accounts correct let's do the same example with the help of tabs now i have you created two different sections if i don't want to have sections rather i want to have tabs so let's do the same example all that you have to do is you just have to have tabs defined there so tab panel uh, example you remember we did earlier uh, for standard controller same concept we will use just controller should be c4 fx page block fx tab panel fx tab inside the tab for the page block table so instead of sections i'm putting it inside the tab that's the only difference so this is there
for the page block table i have to give the value direct accounts variable will be a right same way create another tab copy this tab create another one in this other tab the only difference different thing will be this will become channel Okay. Uh, let's put the tab labels. Uh, this is direct accounts. Label width can be let's say 400. Here the label will be channel accounts, and label width can be. 400 again. See channel accounts, direct accounts. All right, it will be good if we make switch type equals Ajax. Here it is. See this? Please let me know if anyone has a question here or doubt the way we have written this. In this example and the previous one were very similar. The class that I've used is also same. Just that in the previous example I've used section and here I've used tabs. Right, clear on it. Okay, so that's it for today. I mean, as I told you, uh, we will be 